Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Energy White Sabbath Reform, June 29th Blessed is the man who keeps from defiling the Sabbath, Isaiah chapter 56 verse 2 The work of Sabbath reform to be accomplished in the last day is foretold in the prophecy of Isaiah. Thus saith the Lord, Keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that laid hold on it, that keep the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hands from doing evil. Isaiah chapter 56 verses 1 and 2. These words apply in the Christian age as shown by, by the context. The Lord God which gathereth the outcast of Israel saith, Yet will I gather others to him, besides those that are gathered unto him. Verse 8. Here is foretold the gathering in of the Gentiles by the Gospel, and upon those who then honour the Sabbath, a blessing is pronounced. Thus the obligation of the fourth commandment extends past the crucifixion, resurrection and ascension of Christ, to the time when his servants should preach to all nations the message of glad tidings. Hallowed by the Creator's rest and blessing, the Sabbath was kept by Adam in his innocence in Holy Eden, by Adam fallen yet repentant when he was driven from his happy estate. It was kept by all the patriarchs from Abel to righteous Noah, to Abraham to Jacob, when the chosen people were in bondage in Egypt, many in the midst of prevailing idolatry lost their knowledge of God's law. But when the Lord delivered Israel, he proclaimed his law in awful grandeur to the assembled multitude, that they might know his will and fear and obey his, him forever. From that day to the present, the knowledge of God's law has been preserved in the earth, and the Sabbath of the fourth commandment has been kept. Though the man of sin succeeded in trampling underfoot God's holy day, yet even in the period of his supremacy they were hidden. In secret places, faithful souls who paid it honor. Since the Reformation, there have been there have been some in every generation to maintain its observance. Though often in the midst of reproach and persecution, a constant testimony has been borne to the perpetuity of the law of God and to the sacred obligation of the creation Sabbath. Homeward Bound, 